Good afternoon everyone, Ip Malik and my new video are with you again. Today we will look at 4 ways to open a command prompt before entering Windows 11, Windows 10 and Windows 8. There are several reasons why you might want a command prompt outside the system. For example, you forgot your account password and now you want to fix this problem. And so, we begin. Method number 1. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key. And then click, here. And restart your computer. The automatic system restore program opens. Click, troubleshoot. Then, advanced options. Now click, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on your operating system configuration, the program may ask you for your password before opening a command prompt. In this case, I suggest opening the command prompt in another way. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is home or pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows install menu opens, but we won't install anything, we'll just press Shift and F10, at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Depending on the operating system configuration, sometimes Shift plus F10 does not open a command prompt, then you can use another method. Method number 3. The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number 3. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD, and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Click, Next. In the menu we will click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. If you don't have Windows bootable USB flash drive, or a Windows DVD, then try the fourth method open a command prompt, sometimes this method works. Method number 4. Turn on or restart your computer or laptop. And after the system boot window appears, where white dots rotate in a circle, immediately press the button, reset, to force restart the computer before entering the system. When the computer restarts, just force restart it again in the same way. To force restart the laptop, after the appearance of white dots rotating in a circle, immediately press the button, turn on, and hold until the laptop turns off. Then turn on the laptop and do the same again. If your desktop computer does not have a reset button, after turning on the computer, just like on a laptop, press the button, turn on, and hold it until the computer turns off. Due to a different BIOS configuration, it is possible that instead of white dots rotating in a circle, the Windows logo will appear on your screen, then you immediately force restart your computer or laptop. Forcibly restart your computer or laptop two to three times, and a white font will appear on your screen. This is the system recovery program being loaded. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click here. Then, troubleshoot. Click, advanced options. Now press command prompt. The command prompt is opened, and now we can continue our work in it. I hope that what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. 
Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck.